bill is set down for first reading. The House comes to questions for oral answer. Question number one, in the name of Ron Mark. Thank you, Mr Speaker. My question is to the Minister for Primary Industries and asks, does he stand by all his statements? The Honourable Nathan Guy. Speaker, yes, in particular I stand by my statement that I, although dairy prices are experiencing some short-term volatility, the medium to long-term outlook for the sector is still very positive indeed. Supplementary. Supplementary question, Ron Mark. Thank you, Mr Speaker. Then with respect to the, his statements around the Saudi farm issue, can he explain why his predecessor and then Ministry of Primary Industries, the Honourable David Carter, met with Mr George Asaf of Awasi, New Zealand Limited, on the 21st of January 2009? Interesting. The Honourable Nathan Guy. Well, Mr Speaker, uh, I'm unfamiliar of what details uh, and discussions were had between those various parties at that time. Supplementary question, Ron Mark. So is the Minister telling the House that he has no idea whatsoever as to what was so important that Minister Carter had to meet with Mr George Asaf during the parliamentary recess just following the formation of Mr Key's government? And if not, why not? The Honourable well, Nathan Guy. Well, Mr Speaker, uh, the member should realise that ministers meet a variety of people and they discuss things that are appropriate in their different ministries and portfo portfolios. Supplementary question, Ron Mark. Thank you, Mr Speaker. To the Minister, why has not the venue, duration and substance of this meeting not previously been disclosed? Uh -oh. Order. <laughs> uh -oh. Point of order, the Honourable Chair. Order. Order. Well, well, order. No, I haven't called the member yet. I just want silence for this point of order. The Honourable Jerry Burnley. Mr Speaker, the uh, primary question is, does the minister stand, or does he stand by all his statements? You're now getting into some sort of forensic uh, uh, consideration of a meeting that took place during the long seven-week parliamentary recess. Nothing unusual in that. Order. And it will be for the uh, minister in answering the question to decide how he answers it. The Honourable Nathan Guy in answer to that question. No, can I, can I hear that? Order. Question? We're going to ask that question to be heard again. Thank you. Um, thank you, <coughs> Mr Speaker. Why has, to the Minister, then why has the venue, duration and substance of this meeting not been disclosed? Oh, the the Honourable Nathan Guy. Mr Speaker, this is a ridiculous question. I can't believe that this member is even asserting that. As I mentioned in the answer that I just gave previously, ministers meet a variety of people when something is appropriate in their own portfolio they should indeed meet. I don't have the specifics of what went on at that meeting with a former minister, and neither should I carry that around. If the member wants to put a detailed question on the sheet, yeah, yeah. then I'm happy to answer it. Order. Supplementary. Order. Supplementary question, Ron Mark. Thank you, Mr Speaker. To the minister, is it not... Is not, the real, is not the real reason why taxpayers' money has been wasted on the so-called Saudi agri-hub that he has been supporting because this government is being blackmailed over what David Carter and the National Party uh, and Michelle Bogue promised in opposition? The Honourable Nathan Guy. No, that is a pathetic question and I refute that question.